I have a secret rule. I have laid out two configurations of ice house pyramids to help you guess what that rule is. One follows the rule, the other does not. It is now your turn and you get to build whatever you want. This is what you decide to build. Now you must make a choice. Do you ask me whether or not it follows the rule or do you play a guessing game in order to get a guessing chip that you can use later to guess the rule? You decide to ask me whether or not it follows the rule, and I tell you that yes, it does. What you build follows the rule. It is now your uncle's turn, and this is what he has built. He decides to play the guessing game. You and your uncle each have a chip of two different colors. We've agreed beforehand that one chip represents yes, and the other chip represents no. Everyone puts a chip in their, their hand, except for me, because I know the answer, uh, guessing whether or not they think what your uncle made follows the rule or not. We reveal, you chose this, your uncle chose this. You chose right, your uncle chose wrong. You get a guessing chip, your uncle does not. It is your turn again. This is what you make. You ask me whether or not it follows the rule. I tell you it does, so you feel confident enough to use your guessing chip. What's your guess? Well, you guess that all the the pyramids have to be the same color, to which I say you are wrong. Because you spent your guessing chip, I had to create proof of your wrongness. I had to create something that disproves what you said, but still follows the rule. Here we see that this structure is of two different colors, and yet it follows the rule. The game continues like that with you and your uncle building things and asking me questions until either you or your uncle guess the rule. If we look at our original positive example, you see that all the pieces are red, all the pieces are large, and there's a total of nine pips. Each piece has a certain number of pips. The largest, ha largest have three, the medium have two, and the smallest have one. All right, so this particular array has nine pips. At your first build, you ruled out that the pieces don't have to all be red. Your uncle ruled out that they don't all have to be large. You then ruled out that small pieces are allowed. And finally, they do not have to be the same color. Can you guess the rule? If you think you can, perhaps you would enjoy playing Zendo. Zendo is a game of inductive logic in which one person knows a secret rule and everyone else is trying to figure out what it is via a process. A process I described to you shortly before now. You can play Zendo with a box set that's called Zendo that contains stones, these pyramids, and some cards. However, you can play Zendo without any of those things if you just know the process and the few simple rules to playing Zendo. Although you can play Zendo with any collection of objects, I find these pyramids to work nicely. A blue piece is definitely a blue piece. A large piece is definitely a large piece. And the number of pips on a piece cannot be argued. They are set forth in the rules. You can play Zendo without these rule cards, but they help, especially if you're new to Zendo. Uh, the tendency might be, when playing a game like this, to, to make the rules uh, more difficult to guess than than you probably want. As a master, you don't you want to make it tricky for the pe the people who are trying to guess the rule, but you don't want to make it impossible. Now, if you look at the rules on these cards, they're fairly straightforward, and most of them, upon getting guessed, people will be like, "Oh, why didn't I see that? That was such a simple rule." But even a simple rule uh, can be difficult to um, to figure out if you don't see it directly. You just see its expression. You have to work backwards from the expression down to the root cause. Zendo is a very flexible game in terms of its social, uh, its, its place in the social sphere. It's very easy to teach to people. You, it, can, it can play very quickly. People can jump in, drop out. Great for a lot of situations. Um, a lot of people can grok to it really quickly and uh, people tend to enjoy the game. Uh, it makes your brain work in a different way than a lot of what's out there. And so I highly recommend Zendo.